In everyday life and at any scale, moving liquids is an important matter. At the micro scale, the physics change drastically. Gravity becomes negligible and laminar flow dominates. So does the law that moves liquids. The science of manipulating and controlling fluids at the micro to nanometer scale is called microfluidics. There are several ways to move liquids through a microfluidic system. Let's focus on the main three. The first method uses a peristaltic pump. This instrument applies a mechanical action onto a flexible tube to push the liquid flow from the tubing entrance to the exit. The second method uses a syringe pump. This instrument applies a mechanical action onto a plunger, which pushes the liquid through the syringe nozzle. The mechanical motion of the plunger is controlled by an endless screw. The last method to move liquids uses a pressure-driven flow controller. Connected to an external pressure source, this instrument is used to provide an accurate gas pressure to a sealed reservoir filled with liquid. The pressure pushes the liquid and makes it flow through your microfluidic device. Two pressures drive this phenomenon. The outer pressure, P out, and the pressure inside the reservoir, P in. When P in is superior to P out, then the liquid leaves the reservoir or oppositely when P in is inferior to P out, when using vacuum for instance, the liquid gets sucked back in. To sum it up, the liquid flows according to the difference of pressure between the inlet and outlet, which is called delta P. The motion of a liquid is characterized by the flow rate, which is the volume of liquid being moved over time. The flow rate is proportionally related to the difference of pressure. We call microfluidic resistance the proportionality coefficient R. This characteristic of the fluidic system depends on device geometry and on liquid properties. The pressure-driven flow controller is controlled with a software, which allows you to control the pressure by setting a target pressure. The higher the pressure difference, the faster the flow rate gets. A pressure-driven flow controller only provides direct access to pressure. To access flow rate values, one needs to add a flow rate sensor to the setup. Combining a pressure flow controller and a flow sensor offers the advantage of working in either pressure control with flow rate monitoring or in flow rate control with the inlet pressure automatically adapting to reach the target flow rate. This is achieved through a feedback loop between the flow sensor and the pressure controller via the control software. Both peristaltic and syringe pumps are easy to use. They push liquids by a mechanical action. Yet, this mechanical movement leads to bumps and pulses, limiting performances in terms of response time and flow stability. In a pressure-driven flow control system, the liquid is pushed by a gas in a smoother action, leading to a pulseless flow and a higher flow control accuracy. Pressure-driven flow-controlled microfluidics is the premium solution to accurately control fluids in your microfluidic setup. Focus on your science, we help you with the rest. If you're interested in upgrading your current system with pressure control, feel free to contact us at contact at lvflow.com.